Good morning. This is a Wallace Brand story time, and today's story will be reading Easter Surprise by Catherine Stock. My daffodil has opened. It's spring. My brother Mike. My brother Max stays home because it's the school holidays. We're going to Stocking Hill Lake for the weekend. Miss Brown next door will feed Rupert our cat. If we're lucky, we might see the Easter Bunny in the county, in the country, says Mom. We are staying in a little cabin on the lake. There are bunk beds in the room. Max takes the top bunk and I take the bottom bunk. I put on my pajamas and brush my teeth. Note those books, I tell mommy. Tell me a story about the Easter Bunny. Next morning, we decorate eggs with color paints. Max prints an orange egg dot on his nose. Mommy ties a new yellow ribbon on my sunbonnet and we go rowing on the lake. The sun squints on the water. I can't see any bunnies, I say. Bunnies don't swim silly, says Max. The next day is Easter. It's time for the Easter egg hunt. Max looks into some bushes and finds a chocolate bunny wrapped in silver paper. Then he finds a marzipan duck and a chocolate wrapper. I can't find anything. Mommy helps me. She tells me that I'm getting warm when I get closer to something. I find a little basket of sugar eggs. Warmer, warmer, hot, hot, hot. I find a new pink toy mouse with a bell for Rupert. Then I find a chocolate bunny with a pink ribbon. You're my Easter Bunny, I whispered to Mommy that night. Mommy smiles, and you and Max are my all year bunnies, she whispered back. And that is it for today's story time. If you enjoyed the story, you can call up the Wallace Branch Library to place it on hold. And if you stay tuned, I'll be, I'll be showing you how to make your very own chocolate Easter Bunny for Easter. So the first thing you'll need is the body of the bunny, the chocolate bunny ears, his little feet over his eyes, and this is his arms. Second, so you want to go ahead and get his feet to go behind his feet. Like this. And lastly, what you'll need is his mouth. There's his whiskers, his mouth. Now I'll be showing you exactly how to put this together. So first, you want to do go ahead and put a face on your bunny. Get some glue. Little smiley face with the glue. Add another little glue right there. Now your bunny has a face. So lastly, what you want to do is flip it. Add some glue to the railing of the foot. Same thing on the other side. And this one on the back. And then when you flip it, you got your very own chocolate bunny. If you enjoyed this craft, you call me Wands Branch Library. We have to put this in a little craft bag, craft goodie bag for you. Thank you. Have a nice day.